Embattled L.A. County D.A. George Cascon answered questions today about why he backtracked on a controversial case involving the sexual assault of a 10-year-old girl. CBS 2's Jeff DeWitt reports his decision comes after a leaked phone call and another attempt at a recall. If I had to do it all over again, this case would be prosecuted uh, as an adult. During a news conference on a different topic with state lawmakers and LAPD's chief, L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon was inundated with questions regarding the prosecution of a transgender woman who was charged with sexually assaulting a child inside a Denny's restroom. Hannah Tubbs was 17 in 2014 at the time of the crime, but she was allowed to plead guilty in juvenile court when she was recently prosecuted at the age of 26. On Monday, Fox News Channel released a portion of a jailhouse recording in which Tubbs said to her father, they're going to stick me on probation and it's going to be dropped and it's going to be done. I won't have to register, won't have to do nothing. Uh, I came to the conclusion that this person was gaming the system. Do you think he's being sincere? No, he's absolutely insincere. He's lying to the public because he is desperate. Former LA County DA Steve Cooley is a co-chair of the latest recall effort against Gascon. Cooley says Gascon is only doing a reversal on his policy on charging juveniles as adults because of the leaked recording. Yeah, my understanding is they've known for over uh, for about a month. They knew before the sentencing. The prosecutor asked permission to present the tape recording at the sentencing. I became aware last Thursday of the contents of that call, and the contents of that call were extremely disturbing to me uh, because it showed a level of callousness and, and a level of uh, uh, disrespect for humanity. In a statement, the victim in Tubbs' case said, not only do I have to live with that awful memory for the rest of my life, but I'm also given no true justice as to what happened to me. Because of the guilty plea in juvenile court, Tubbs was sentenced to two years, but will likely do less time than that. In downtown LA, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.